Welcome back to Mojo Group. Mike here. Today, I'm finally installing my oxygen for the airplane. If you missed the last episode, be sure to catch up. I was up in North Carolina to pick up this beautiful system. Shout out to Mountain High for providing this portable oxygen system. And today, I'm going to set it up because I'm actually getting ready for another trip to the Bahamas. And chances are, we're going to be flying high on that trip. And so it would be a great gateway to actually use this system. As a pilot, any altitude over 10,000 feet, it's best to always use an external oxygen. And that's what the system is for. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So if you're just tuning in, the last video, or previous video, I flew out to North Carolina to pick up my oxygen system. And shout out to Mountain High for supplying the system for me. And uh, I've got mainly this, this is what I need to fill up here. So guys, when I was building this airplane, I wanted to have oxygen in there. Now, given that most of my flights are not really high altitude flights, but it's good to have some oxygen because this airplane can climb. It, the service right now, the service ceiling is 18,000 feet with the uh, road tax line 15 but we've seen this plane do 30,000 feet, but I'm probably not gonna be going that high, but if you're going over 10,000 feet, rule of thumb is to have one of these. And so initially I wanted to build a system where we would have ran the wire and the setup through the interior, but I didn't get to do that. And so what I ended up doing is go with a portable system, which is again supplied the mountain high here they were actually recommended to me so i didn't just pick this company uh, they were highly highly recommended and they have portable systems and systems that you can set up uh, with the airplane and they have for both experimental and certified plane as well and the system again you would have to catch up on the the last video that i have but i have a bunch of the accessories here but really what i like to do today is go fill that tank up and Let's see what we got here. And then set it up. Uh, you've got uh, sort of your, your unit here where you can tell level and, and the level of oxygen coming in and out. But what I like to do, I've got a different system, even though Mountain Hot comes with its own, uh, which is all in this box. I'll show you guys in a bit, but I've got this. And with this system, I can basically set it up with Bluetooth and I'll be able to you know, see the measurements of all of the, uh, basically the oxygen flow just through my screen. Uh, so I'm excited to set this up, but first I gotta go fill up the tank and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back here at the maintenance shop where they're gonna fill up this oxygen tank for us. And, uh, expected cost today, maybe 45 bucks. We'll see. Hey guys, so I am back now with a full tank. It's so weird. I thought this thing would be heavier, but thinking about it, oxygen is all gas. So it doesn't feel any heavier than it was before. Uh, but anyway, we now have a full oxygen tank and I'm gonna bring out all the accessories and set it up. Hopefully I don't mess up, but keep watching. Okay, so when you order your stuff from Mountain High, this is, you get one of these. So this is all the, the accessories that will come with your portable system. And again, this should be easy, okay? Uh, but I'm gonna set mine up now. Now, this is one of the most important accessories that you would get for your, uh, with your system. Oops, I gotta pick that up. But anyway, this is how many ports you get. Uh, and for me, I only got two for right now. If I need to extend, I'll probably get four. Uh, but for the most part, again, I imagine that it's just gonna be me and one other person flying. So two should be enough for right now. Also your uh, portable tank will come with one of these. So this is the bag that basically straps it to the uh, to the plane. You can see it like this. I plan to put mine in the back seat or in the baggage area and I'm gonna tie it down there. All right, so this is everything we got here. And so I've got the bag, the tank, the port, and uh, let me look for that. I'll just, I'm a practical person, so 
I like seeing pictures. It's like I'm in the third grade, so. Pictures first and then read next. So this is one of the, actually I have four of these. Or do I have two? So I've got two of these and then one, two, no, just two. So this, I believe, will go in the, the main port for the oxygen. And then these other two will be the extension out. Okay, so let's do it. You see how nicely this is labeled here. Um, if you see on this, it shows red. That's where the red will go in. And this goes into the EDS, AKA the oxygen tank. First, let's see. So. All right, it's just, Easy plug in, and then you tighten this. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So actually I was wrong, this doesn't need to be tightened. Once you uh, insert the tube in here, it should just, once you see it stop, it's already inserted. And as you can see, with me putting pressure to pull it out, it's not pulling out. Uh, so that's this, this is now in the connector here. And then this other end will go in the, uh, the EDS, the tank. Guys, another thing that will come with your portable system, if I can get my head to fit in this camera, is this. So, as I said, even though I have a two place, um, I bought a, a system normally that's a two place, but I got this just in case I need to expand. So you see it's four ports here. Actually, let me open this bag up real quick. So, look, see four? So that's four place. Right now I've got two, but I've got the tubing for actually four places. So if I need to extend my, uh, I need to carry four people and flying high, I'm gonna be using the additional two. So. Okay guys, so now that we have, uh, you've, you've you got your tube in the regulator here, I misspoke earlier. So this doesn't go directly in the tank. It goes into the CDC unit here and you see i have four and so i can extend this to four people if i need to but for right now i'm gonna put in this this connects to this and then this connects to the tank so this goes in like that it's just pretty much push it in and it locks in and to remove you just push this which is pretty cool all right so that's in now, got to figure out how this goes into the EDS. I think I need to remove this cover. There we are. So that's what I'm looking for. So this now goes into the tank. And we should be good to go. Let's see here. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So regulator is in, and now let's figure out what the next step is. So before I move further ahead, again I've got a bunch of uh, nose inserts and masks here. So I'm gonna use this just to test the the system and see if there's any oxygen flowing through. Okay. So I'll be putting this on. You may not be able to see me, but I'm testing. I keep saying the blue outlet but I don't have a blue outlet, so this is the blue outlet, but it's gotta go into one of these is what I'm guessing. Where's my regulator here? 
Okay, so you can see here this will go into one of the ports here. And I think that's that's in. And it's currently off. Let me see the best position to put it. So I'll leave this in and I'll turn this to neutral. And uh, got an alarm beep there. It says alarm for the two outlet is enabled, blah, blah, blah. And I'll open the valve slowly, but let me put this first on my face. Hope you guys can see this. So my face mask is on and you can see this flashing green. Can the GoPro see it? Okay, I've turned this to neutral as per the instructions. And I'm going to slowly just open the valve here for the oxygen tank and just inhale a little bit. All right, I'm looking for the green though. This is just showing that I'm inhaling but I'm not sure it's showing oxygen flow yet. Okay, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've got some oxygen flowing. Open a little further and see. Okay, there we go. You can see the All right, we're good. Even I can feel you hear the pops. That's the oxygen flowing. All right, this unit works. So next thing I'm gonna do, this is pretty much it guys. Um, let me take this off. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just wrap this up and fit it in the uh, bag. And then I'm gonna put it in the plane and we should be good to go. Now guys, the awesome thing about everything you get with your package from Mountain High, uh, other than the EDS and, and the, the oxygen tank, you, you can select from different uh, inserts or masks, face masks basically. So you see I've got two of these. I've also got these. They can go directly into your nose like that. And they also have one that plugs into your headset. So it's easier to just pull it and just uh, run it um, and have it. Uh, insert insert into your nose so you can you can go with whichever you want uh, based on your comfort level but these are good enough and I'll, I'll probably test these out and see how comfortable they are if they're not then I'll, I'll switch them out I'm likely gonna get the ones that you uh, connect to your to your headset okay guys so that's this is pretty much it the the system is set up and the only thing I need to do next is this this ether system I'm going to set up. This is just an oximeter and it measures uh, just how much oxygen flow, like basically measuring your pulse. And uh, the cool thing about this is that it's done remotely. Once all of this is connected, it comes with these, actually with this uh, unit here. And so it's connected electronically and that way I'll be able to tell my oxygen level uh, through my G3X touch. And that is all of it in a nutshell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, be sure to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. Again, my name is Mike. A great way to support Mojo Group is by becoming an MVP member. Go on to mojogroup.net forward slash MVP, or you can join the membership here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for your support, and I will catch you on the next video.